Shimon, they're better than my speech. <laughs> and they're playing Glenn Miller from the 1940s. You remember that. That's when you became a great-grandfather. <laughs> I, uh, we're here to pay tribute to the last living Israeli who knew King David. <laughs> I was here in 10 years ago when we had Shimon's 80th birthday. I'm honored to be here tonight. He's a statesman. I'm a politician. <laughs> I bargained. I got something for showing up. He promised to appear at my 80th and 90th birthdays <laughs> when he will be 103 and 113, and then to speak at my funeral. I'm very grateful. My friend, many things have been said tonight. The films, your own words, the glorious pictures of your life and your work. No Israeli should forget that your political career, your public service career, spans more than 65 years. It predates the formal recognition of the State of Israel. No person who wonders how you can live to be 90 should forget that you were part of 12 different cabinets. Anybody who can endure that many boring meetings <laughs> deserves to be 90 and more. <laughs> this is what I know. We have been friends now for more than two decades. We have buried people we love together. We have celebrated great hopes. We have endured great disappointments. I have watched you in sunshine and storm, when you were up and when you were down, when you were winning elections and when you were losing them. And the thing that I love most about you is a remarkable combination of mind and heart, which has allowed you always to be big. You embraced tonight the man who defeated you once, who thanked you for the decision to rescue the Israeli soldiers from Entebbe and for what you said at his beloved brother's funeral. The Israelis have taught us the Israelis have taught us who love you many things. One of the worst things about American politics today is that you can actually lose an election in your own party if you say something nice about someone in another party. It is not enough to disagree with anybody anymore in my country. You have to actually prove you mean your disagreement by saying you clearly dislike them. Tonight, we heard in what the Prime Minister said, and we have seen in the life of Shimon Peres, that a country becomes great and stays great when people who disagree know they love the same things, want the same thing, believe in the same thing. The greatest scientist of the last hundred years, Albert Einstein, devoted his massive brain to trying to put together a unified theory of matter thinking that he could explain all existence if he could interrelate physics and chemistry and biology. And now we are coming closer to that. Shimon, 
You are the world's social Einstein. You have tried to put together You have tried to put together a unified theory of meaning to unite politics and philosophy and psychology and history and science and technology, to glory in what we share in common and glory in the unique ability of people to create their own future. You never stop reminding us how special is every child, like that little 10-year-old boy whose life your foundation saved. And you never stop reminding us that what we have in common is more important than our interesting differences. You have brought us, those of us who love you, those of us who agree with you, those of us who disagree with you, day in and day out, decade after decade, a unified theory of meaning. And every one of us who has been blessed enough to know you, to be showered in the grace of your service and your friendship, has been made a little bigger, a little stronger, and a little more optimistic that someday your theory will be real in the life of this holy land and all the world. On your 90th birthday, what we really celebrate is your great gift to all of us. God bless you and thank you.